Made in Chelsea, Season 17, Episode 12. So, looks like Amelia and Hugo, Hugo took things to the next level. I'm not entirely sure what happened in that bed. I just know that it would have been... Ugh, I, mean, I don't know. Awkward as heck is what it sounded like. Anyway. Whatever. Let's see how long that lasts. Jamie is so freaking manipulative. I mean, why is he trying to play games with Habs? He's like being such a 12-year-old. You know? Oh, I won't talk to you if you don't do this with me. I'm like, come on, man. Mitten actually gave him good advice. So, you know, telling Jamie to like, own your bull. Just go up and say, I was being an idiot and I really still want to, you know, hang out with you. I don't want to cut you out of my life for that. Um, Maver, we found out that she kissed James. That was an interesting development. I mean, obviously we knew it was coming, but it's like, why? Why would you even want, I mean, as a female, do you not think that that boy has got a round man? He really has. I mean, it's like you're kissing half the country for crap. Okay, not the country, but at least Chelsea, half of Chelsea, three-fourths of Chelsea. 95% of the Chelsea female population, their spit in James's mouth. You're uh, gross. Anyway, basically they both wanted to stick it to Miles. Maver, you, you, you could see when James was like, let me tell Miles, you tell Rosie. And Maver's face was like, oh, do I even have to talk to Rosie? Yikes, I guess I do, because Rosie didn't even enter her head. Maver is so self-involved, uh, she, she couldn't care less about anyone else besides herself, honestly. Mitten was, had arranged a little getaway for the gang, and as soon as he saw Habs, he spilled the beans about Jamie's true motivations, uh, you know, about his ultimatum, no, if you can't date me then we don't want to hang in that, you know, he just did it to see how Habs would react. And no one was surprised by Mitten telling Habs because that's what he does, not like he can keep a secret. This is one of the reasons why I think that Jamie and Mitten are good friends. They just, you know there are no secrets with them. They will tell everybody everything, basically. Um... Saw a little bit more of Rosie, not as much as I would love, but, you know, Rosie, yay. Mark Francis, double yay. Gilding lessons, what? I mean, what? I don't even... And the lesson itself was, like, even more of a what, because it was during that lesson that Maver came in to tell Rosie that she kissed James. So I didn't even look at what the heck they were doing, and I don't think I missed much, but... Anyway, so when Maver told, you know, told Rosie, Rosie was like, James is like the village bicycle, like everyone's been on that. And I think that she was like, you know, Rosie always, let's be honest, thought a little bit less of girls for sleeping with James straight away, like within the first couple of dates. And she, I think, was always a little bit, not proud, but she, she, I think she's always felt that she's had more self-respect, that she didn't jump under James in two seconds. So when Mavis told her that she kissed James, I can see it in Rosie's head. She's like, okay, my estimation of you just dropped, you're obviously desperate, but whatever works for you kind of a thing. Anyway, more about that later. Um, what, what came after that? Oh, yes, Amelia and Hugo. Conversation at tennis was so awkward. You know, it's so obvious to anyone with eyes that Hugo is not into Amelia. He, he's just not. And, and Amelia's coming off like cuckoo cocoa puffs, honestly. 
I don't think she has any aw situational awareness. She is lacking situational awareness there. You, how are you not able to read that this guy doesn't like you? He's just trying to see if you're an easy lay. That's all. It's so obvious. He's just looking to get some until he finds something better. I don't know. I hope that she gets it together. We'll see. Um, Verity didn't see a whole lot of her, thank God, until the end. I'll get back to her later. Um, what else was there that went on? Yes, Maver, Maver telling Miles. That was, that was such a shitty moment because she knew that James wanted to tell Miles. James wanted, but the thing is, you know, I saw the pleasure that Maver took out of seeing the hurt on Miles' face. And I don't trust James' motivations. I feel like he wanted to tell Miles for the same reason. He wanted to see Miles in pain. It wasn't about, oh, I want to try to salvage my friendship. Because later on, he doesn't give a shit about the friendship. He's like, the friendship's dead in the water. So they just want to make Miles hurt. And they're selfish, horrid people. I mean, honestly, vicious, vicious. Mava is like psycho. And Habs called it. And I remember initially I was like, come on, Habs, why are you getting involved, you know? But, oh, my God, she was so right. This woman's insane. Ah. And then, you know, Habs, why is she cuddling Jamie at the getaway when she's not even sure if she wants to really be with him. She's getting all into the moment, just like how she was with Sam. They were on vacation. She got into it, didn't know how to get out of it. Now Jamie's pushing so hard that Habs is like, okay, which, yeah, hello, big spoiler. She finally agreed to date him. You know that she's doing it just because he's pushing her. There is no chemistry there. She's forcing herself to go out with him just to see if some chemistry might pop up. She's going to break his heart. It's going to be a shit show. And these are not even people I like. I'm not going to enjoy it that much. Otherwise, I really would. Anyway. It's just sad that it looks like she has no backbone because she obviously clearly has stated that she values her friendships more than Jamie. It's just that she doesn't have the balls to just tell Jamie, no, stop this, whatever this is, stop it, it's not happening. She's giving in to peer pressure, which is pathetic. Anyway, um, let's see. I really like the relationship between Miles and Sophie. And, I, and obviously, you know, Sophie's one of my favorite people on the show, so I'm really happy that she was there. So she was comforting Miles after Maver spilled the beans. And she called it so perfectly that, you know, Jamie and Maver, you do not need them in their life, in, you know, in, in Miles' life. They lack creativity and they're only doing this to get at him. And Maver literally admitted that to Rosie when she's like, well, if I get a little bit of revenge, then I'm happy. And Rosie wasn't even asking her that. Rosie was saying, are you sure James isn't doing it to get back at Miles? And I think that Mayo just misheard and she's like, well, yeah, if I get my revenge, I'm happy. And like, oh my God, Mayva. Anyway, and when James told Eliza, I think that he expected Eliza to be on his side for some reason, but she called him out straight. He, she was like, you're being completely self-indulgent and a bit of chemistry does not justify throwing away your friendship. And James, as usual, pretended to see the light. Oh, now that you're telling me this, I see it. In a, but in the end, he did whatever the heck he wanted, went into the club with Maeva and just basically spat in Miles' face, you know, metaphorically right there. And live and, I mean, everyone's coming up to him. It's like, you're supposed to be a better human being. 
And he's like, why should I be? Like, be a decent person. Like, why should I be a decent person? Like, what's in it for me? And everyone doesn't know what to say. They're like, because it's the right thing to do. I mean, as and Elijah was like, as a society, we function by trying to be good people, not being selfish asses. But James apparently didn't get that memo. And honestly, he should just he should just be shunned. Just drop him. Don't speak to him. He's not a good person. He's not trustworthy. Don't need him. <laughs> anyway, the two seconds of verity, which I said I would get back to, was, was in the club when she walked up to like Jamie and Mitten and she was all like, oh, why didn't you tell me you were getting with Habs? You should get with Habs. I would have cheered you on. Now go, go, go be with Habs. And everyone's like, yeah, that's happening. No one's exactly waiting for you. Who are you again? Okay, maybe they weren't exactly like that, but that was like so the vibe. Mitten's like, yeah, new girl, don't know you, walk away. Well, not really new girl because he was there with the original. But still, she's just trying so hard and I'm still not loving her. So whatever. Okay, um, what is next then? The, the, the whole thing ended, obviously, with Jamie and Habs agreeing to go on the date. I don't particularly want to discuss the previews. I'm like, let it happen. Because it's, it's just stupid. The whole thing's stupid and expected, and I don't know. But all in all, I really did like this episode. I liked it a lot. Lots of little drama, with lots of different relationships, and I was happy. Good episode. We'll see what happens next week. Bye-bye.